Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Border Models latest release. This is the Yunkers JU87 G1 G2 Stuka in 135th scale. Yes, you heard me right. So it's not 148th or 132nd, it's 135th. So obviously Border Models a while ago did the 109 in um, 35th scale. So now we've actually got the Stuka. If this is going to be a new thing that they're going to be releasing in, we're not sure. But definitely it's going to fit in with any diorama things you're doing in 135th or anything else like that. So it uh, should be quite interesting. Anyway, nice bit of box art on the front. Showing the Stuka do, does what it does best. A little bit of a strafing run there in the dive. Again, very nice. Down on the box, we got some, looks like CAD work, showing some of the details. So again, the riveting looks very nice. We've got obviously with the details of the cockpit, the underside there, and around the engine cowlings and things. Uh, kit number for this one is uh, BF002. So nice and straightforward on that one. And then down in here, we've got obviously the Kursk, the Rudel uh, one, and then we've got uh, without SWAT sticker, or whatever version they're calling it there. It could be a typo, uh, as you can see. So we've got a couple of versions down in there, one obviously saying with the GSMH marking and one without, all right? So very nice indeed. So in the box, we are greeted by, sit there, there we go. Right, so we've got quite a lot going on in here. Oh, no, it's just been squeaking together. Lovely looking clear parts. All right, let's keep that safe. And then we'll work our way through and go through these properly. So lots of small parts, looking very nice indeed. We've got some engine there, so fully detailed engine. Very nice, we have the wings. Again, looking really nice surface detail on those. And then we've got the fuselage. And again, looks absolutely fantastic through the plastic. And then we've got the bombs. We've got the actual the wheels, the gear, the various bits and pieces. We've got the guns. Looks very nice indeed. And we've got the internals. Very nice. And then we've got, I think out the way. We've got a little baggie down in here. So we've got some photo etch. Looks like we've got a little bit of a resin. And again, we're trying to get these out without it sticking to the soda bag. All right, so we have the figure, which we'll pull apart in a moment, which is nice. We've got photo etch, which is uber thin, very, very thin that, a bit of photo etch. We've got the decals, without the swat sticker, which Matt has just made a, oh yes, no, we have got a swat sticker. So why would you put that on the instructions? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, into the <laughs> instructions. Uh, we have again we've got the sprue layout which is fair enough gorgeous looking engine as you can see down in there as well so that's really nice so we've got a lovely detailed engine in there and you could probably go to town with it a little bit more with some wiring a little bit of plumbing and you'd have something looking absolutely fantastic so we've got the radiator we've obviously got all the engine mounts and systems as well uh, down in there like that it looks like, which is a real shame, there's no way of actually opening up sort of cowlings and various bits and pieces in here to display the said gorgeous looking engine, but it looks like it's a slip fit over the front. So I'm wondering if you could just then slide it off afterwards um, if you didn't put the exhaust onto it. I'm not sure exactly how that would work, but yeah, there could be a way of actually sort of making that as a, a loose fit, but it would be nice if you could open up some of these panels to perhaps expose some of the engine. We've got the seating system being fitted down in there, some of the cockpit parts down in this one as well. So we've got the control grip, things like that being fitted down in there. And then obviously the ammunition boxes down at the back, the seat going in, and then basically sandwiching all this part in. So we've got some nice sidewall details going down in here. We've got some holes to open up, remember, uh, down in there, but generally looking really good. We've got that rudder being fitted down on the back. So again, really nice, straightforward type build down on there. We've got the wing system. So just down in here, we've got the radiators being fitted down underneath all the things, uh, you know, the actual slats and flaps and ailerons and things like that being fitted down onto this one, right the way underneath. We've got the lights again, fully detailed light system, slight difference on the clip on the wing. So I'm wondering if we're gonna see other versions coming out. Uh, slot to be opened up, which looks all very nice as well. Pretty much mirror on the other side as well. So very nice indeed. 
canopy set being fitted down into this one. Uh, as you can see, so you've got the armor glass being fitted to the front of this one, some framing down onto the inside. We've got the twin guns uh, being fitted at the back. Then we've got the tailplanes being fitted and then bringing these all down and in here like this. So we've got the fuselage mounted up onto the wing spar system and then the front being put on, instrument panels being fitted in. It's quite complex the way they've done the diagram for this one, but we get the idea from it. The strengtheners being put up underneath the actual uh, tailplanes got the cannons so those massive cannons are going to fit underneath the wing as well those ones being fitted and again it's a nice touch but it's a shame there's no way of actually showing it because there's no actual parts to open up to actually show off the said cannons that you put the detailed work into but they are internal into the actual pods being fitted onto this one and then we've got the mounting brackets things like that then obviously we've got the assembly of the actual main gear and the tail wheel and then all of these being fitted down underneath okay and then that pen, that's 11. We've got the canopy obviously being fitted on top depending on which one you're actually doing. So depending on the version you are, if you're having the side armour on and things like that. Ammo's done the call out for this one. So as you can see down in here, you've got your colour call outs in ammo. Uh, other paints are clearly available. And then obviously the two versions. So very nice indeed with those. So yeah something a little bit interesting. What seems to be really nice about it though, it's not over complicated. It's quite a straightforward build or certainly looks it just like that. So starting off, okay, so if we start in the cockpit area, uh, with the tub, and we'll work our way through. So you can see really nice sprue straight off the bat. The sprues have that gorgeous texture to them. So again, you've got such a mixed media on this, and this is what is the gorgeous thing about this actual kit. So if we just flick down into the, the close-up, you can probably see you've got, obviously we've got recess, looks absolutely fantastic, but the highlight is down in here. So this has got raised rivets all the way through, which are beautiful, and it's literally like braille. They are absolutely fantastic. Mixed along with, as you can see, recessed and raised. So we've these little latches down in here for this inspection hatch, that's raised. Details around it, recessed. Same over here. So you've got raised details and recessed. And obviously we've got down in here for the bomb system on that central, good mounting points all been molded in in one. And again, nice, good, strong location for the gear parts being fitted down in there. The bulkhead, so you can see plenty of detail, gorgeous mixture of raised and recessed. Same with all the internal parts as we look along all of these, very nice. The twin guns at the rear, really nice. We've got the radio gear and everything else like that. Those instrument comings instrument panels over here there's no details to them at all so you're going to have to use the dials that's a little bit of a week it would be nice if there was something a little bit more than obviously what you got here just basically blank dials so that's a little bit of a weak spot generally though the rest of all the parts you can see really nice the side walls with all the equipment already put on as well so from a build point of view that's going to be really really nice putting together Again, no sign of sink marks. All the ejector pins are slightly recessed or flush. So that's really nice as well. Nothing sitting proud. The sprue attachment points, they're very small and fine. Really nice all the way through. Okay, so carrying on with the underside down in here, we've got the guns, we've got the gun pods. We've got all of those parts, as you can see. So over on here, we've got those guns, as you say, there's those pods. We've got the pylons as well. Really very nice, as you can see. We've got the bomb. We've got the tail wheel just down in there. We've got the radiators, and obviously we've got the Stuka's famous gear right the way through. The tires looking really good, and we do have weight on wheels with the tires as well. They are got flat spots onto those. So that's a nice touch. Very nice on the underside. Okay, moving on to the fuselage. So here we are on sprue A. Very nice indeed. Got a little bit of flash just running around the actual uh, sprues, but not actually on the parts. But generally, you know, the forward section looks like you can perhaps pop the top off on one side of the engine. Can't do both because this one's molded in and there's no areas to remove it but again you've got a nice detail part just down in there like that and then fuselage halves you can see I'm running along here this is recessed riveting all the way down until you get to this rear area then it's raised riveting and you can feel them 
and again recessed around this area a little bit of raised all down the back here it's a real mixed media bag of them so that's really nice control surfaces to say ailerons and flaps as you can see just down in there just like that so that's very very nicely detailed and then again on the inside nothing really to see because to be honest it's all going to be uh, plated out but uh, very nice molding indeed on all of those parts okay next up we've got the wings so beautiful detail all recessed and obviously a little bit of raise for the strengtheners so again jumping straight in you can see lovely detail with all the riveting on those and obviously we've got accesses running in to nothing i do believe i don't think we saw anything on the instructions from the inside underside the outer wings as you can see very nice indeed and again you quality of the moulding you can see and the, the actual milling on the tooling it's all polished very very nice indeed so that's good okay engine so obviously fully detailed engine which looks absolutely gorgeous and again over here on sprue d so you've got plenty of detail down in here already and i don't think it'll take too much just to really bring it to life so we've got the actual engine itself we've got the engine mounts down in here and all the parts the radiator we've got parts for the spinner there the exhausts the actual rocker covers down in there that radiator the actual spinner itself and the props that looks all really very very nice indeed Okay, last up, just some of the small detail parts. A little sprue here on sprue H. So again, down in here, you can see some of the smaller items. Really nice. So we've got those actuators for the flaps uh, and obviously for the ailerons and things like that. And all the small little parts, again, beautifully done and moulded. Again, we get a little bit of photo etch, which again, is very fine, very, very small, as you can see, but it will just add a nice little bit of detail. One thing we don't see is any harnesses so you don't get any harnesses or anything for the seats at all so they're plain so you're gonna to have to go down the aftermarket route there decal wise as I say these are these instrument panels we were looking at there is a couple of different options down in there and then obviously we've got the SWAT stickers a two-part with the shadow or without we've got the kill markings for the tank we've got the spinner swirls which is a nice touch as well and again the different ones just down in there like that but that looks very nicely printed okay last up we've got or second to last we've got the clear parts so the clear parts multiple canopies as we said before depending on which one you're doing so down in here you can see how clear and crisp that is that's really very nice the framing itself is soft so the framing is all on the inside there's no framing on the outside apart from the side runners up here so the side runners down in here on in here are raised all the internals which i assume are the real thing uh, are going to be on the inside so interesting way of doing it so from your masking point of view do you paint and do the inside or the outside so again it's just one of those same on the front front ones obviously they're all recessed and again, we've got two different types of forward canopy, one at the back here, one at the front for different versions of, make your decision. And then obviously we've got another rearward facing one down in here and some of the other window areas for the back. Again, good, clean, clear, crystal clear. Really very, very nicely done indeed. Last up, we get the figure. But again, it's got the world's strongest staple. It's gonna break a nail. <laughs> So, if I can get it out, there we go. Oh, look, they put two in there. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, we have the little said figure. And again, that's actually very, very nicely done, very nicely molded. We've got the arms nicely done in the flight suit. Nice little touch with that. Very nicely molded, nice and clean and crisp. 
one piece resin very nice indeed and there you have it so I have to say absolutely love the design of it going together love the recessed uh, details I love the raised details they are absolutely fantastic and seem to be on spot also it's great that it's got a fully detailed engine and then obviously you can add some wiring into it same as inside the cockpit area you could add a little bit more detail weak areas definitely it doesn't come with any seat belts or harnesses or anything whatsoever so you're gonna have to go down aftermarket and let's face it the Stuka's one aircraft you can see all the cockpit so really you're going to want to see something in there and the other thing as well the instrument panel is very weak as well you know just having a simple decal that flits over the outside in this day and age not with the quality of the molding it's letting it down so unfortunately you probably want to go aftermarket with an instrument panel and obviously you can need some aftermarket harnesses the rest of it though i have to say looks absolutely fantastic so there we go, that's Border Model's latest release, the 135th scale Yonkers JU87 G1 GT.